How high does it go? Should I test it? Should I? <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Sabrina. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about periods again. So if you don't like that, you are allowed to click off. Also, um, okay, just a warning. In my previous like period and menstrual cycle related videos, I used inclusive language to include everyone who has a period and a vagina because surprise surprise genitals don't always equal gender. So if me saying people with periods or people with vaginas bothers you that much, you can click away because I don't know how to tell you this, but it's not just cis women who have periods. I'm non-binary and I have periods. There are trans people who have periods and they don't always identify as women. So let's get into it. Ovira reached out to me and asked me to review their product. Um, they're not paying me to say anything really. They just sent me one so that I could review it. And I was super excited because I'm all for investing in new products, new research towards period pains, anything related to periods. If there's a product that can help me relieve my period pain, I'm all for it. And it's not medicine. It is a TENS unit. It's not medicine at all. TENS stands for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulator? Stimulation, I believe. But it's basically, you know like other YouTubers when they're like, oh, challenge time and as a punishment, you you stick on these sticky things and then they send electrical impulses to your muscles and it contracts like that. I'm not 100% sure behind the science of Ovira, but um, I know like the electrical impulses go into your body, they like go to the nerve endings that are connected to the area where there's a lot of period pain, so like your uterus, and it sends signals to your brain and tells it Oh, you're not feeling pain anymore. <laughs> okay, so yeah, reading their website, it says that the electrical pulses overload your nerves to block pain signals traveling to the brain to give you instant period relief. I'm pretty sure it's safe to use as long as you don't have a pacemaker and like as long as you don't have any like metal body parts, is that what it's called? Like if you got a hip replacement and it's like metal now, like maybe don't try it out because I think that can give you burns. Traditionally, TENS units are, from what I remember in my college classes, are traditionally used um, as like physical therapy or to treat pain. So it makes sense that they would make one for period pains because if you can use it on pains in the rest of your body, what's stopping you from using it for period pains? Um, and I was really, excited about this because if you've seen my other period related videos like my birth control has sort of mellowed out my cramps but they still are pretty bad without ibuprofen or some kind of NSAID but yeah if you take ibuprofen way too much that can damage your kidneys and your liver so I want to prevent <laughs> myself from doing that sorry that was a long intro I talked too much anyways <laughs> Um, so I already opened it. I've tried it out for a couple days and I love it so much. I don't have cramps right now, but I'm gonna show you how I put it on. So, okay, I'm gonna stand up. Don't make fun of my basketball shorts because I don't... <laughs> I only dress the upper half of my body and also I'm bloated. So don't make fun of my body. Just make sure I'm not flashing you. Hold on. So the Ovira comes with these sticky pads and they were also nice enough to send me um, refills that they also sell. I stick them on like there. <laughs> I think that's right. And then I kind of pull up my pants to um, make sure that the sticky is like against my skin because that's how it sends the signals. Charge this guy first, this guy, <laughs> and you plug it in. While I was first doing this, I actually had a problem with this. I didn't know you were supposed to hold down the power button, so like, I sat there for like 10 minutes thinking it was doing something, but it wasn't doing anything at all. I'm gonna help you guys out since I have problems with this. This button in the middle is the power button, and you're going to hold that down, turn it on. I had problems with that because I didn't know you were supposed to hold it down, but then you kind of see that light right there. There's going to be a light that turns on and it's white. These buttons on the sides can increase and decrease the 
amount of electrical impulses. This one obviously increases and this one decreases. So yeah, usually when you power it on, you're supposed to plug it in, um, <laughs> but I couldn't hold it up while it's connected to me, so. So when I first turned it on, I was really scared because I have never tried a TENS machine before. Um, I took an anatomy class in high school, but because I had anxiety, I didn't want to go up there and grab one to try and test it out because I didn't have friends in the class. Um, anyways. <laughs> When I tried it out for the first time, I spent like five minutes just sitting there trying to gather up the courage to turn it on and then I didn't even turn it on in the end, so. But it really isn't that bad. Um, it feels like tingling. It's like, like buzzing. And if you still aren't feeling relief when you're increasing it and it's just like hurting your skin, try to adjust it around. I put mine a little bit lower and towards the center. In the little pamphlet they give you, um, it gives you a diagram on uh, where to put it and how far apart to place it. I mean, it's not bad. It really works. I think it really does work. Um, I just kind of sit here. I had really bad period cramps yesterday, but I put it on. I watched some anime. I, um, I did some assignments for some of my classes, even though school hasn't began yet. <laughs> my teachers gave me gave us assignments, and this is really useful. It comes with a little clip in the back, and you could just put it on your little waistband like that. Um, you can cover it with your shirt. Um, and basically they even advertise that you could just wear this whenever you want and hide it under your clothes um, Just don't wear it when you're sleeping <laughs> Don't wear it around water. But yeah, usually on my periods It's like really hard for me to just do anything because I feel so bloated I feel so gross and then on top of that I also have cramps that hurt like like a like a like a lot <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It just like feels good <laughs> kind of like grounds me and like feeling the tingling kind of reminds me that like hey I'm okay and I can do like I'm a bad I can do this my review amazing beautiful wonderful she's she's everything you want and just going off of their website, it says Ovira is intended for the relief of primary menstrual pain, dysmenorrhea. She may also help to relieve the pain of secondary menstrual pain due to conditions such as endometriosis, fibroids, PCOS, adenomyosis, or pelvic inflammatory disease. I would recommend everyone who has a period to try it out. It is a little bit pricey, but I genuinely think that if you have no other treatment, like nothing else is working for you, and you've already invested so much time and money and you're in so much pain, trying to find relief that Ovira like give it a try. I definitely think it's worth a try if you have the money to afford it. Um, it is $120 and the refills are like about $35 I think um, so it is a bit pricey. But yeah but I'm pretty sure like it doesn't in interfere with uh, birth control pills. I'm pretty sure it doesn't interfere with IUDs um, but if you're really worried you should ask your primary care physician about it. Um, see what's best for you. But yeah, honestly, if- oh, my shoulders are showing. Oh my god, so scandalous, sorry. If you're looking for like a natural medicine-free way to relieve period cramps, this- this is a pretty great option, honestly. I'm on the third day of my period right now, and the first like three days are terrible for me, and like cramp-wise and bleeding-wise, and I haven't taken ibuprofen within these last three days. Oh my god. <laughs> I've just been using the Ovira, and it's amazing. Now I can walk around and I can do chores and I can film videos and I don't have to waste the first three days of my period laying in bed being miserable all day. I would say you do need some time to get used to it because if you haven't used it like a, a TENS unit before, it can kind of like feel weird and like hurt a little bit, especially if you put the level up too much, but once you get used to it, it like, it definitely helps. I'll put it up one level above what I'm used to. Yee! Oh my gosh, wait. This doesn't even feel that bad. It's like nice. It's like tingling, vibrating, like like little like little ants crawling on me or like a video game controller resting on my stomach. How high does it go? Should I test it? Should I? <laughs> okay, I won't, I won't, it's scary. All right, that's basically it, I'm pretty sure. So it also comes with like a little pouch and this thing to put the stickies on. 
it's super cute. If you're someone who has periods and you're looking for some period pain relief, check out Ovira. I think it could be helpful to a lot of people. Ending thoughts, I love Ovira. You should probably, you should check it out if um, nothing else is working for you. It's not scary, it doesn't hurt, it relieves pain, like I think it truly does. I really hope that more products can come out that will help relieve period pains because it sucks that we gotta deal with this. Sorry if I stumbled over my words and stuff today. I'm, I'm like on my period and I'm groggy and cloudy. My head hurts. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at sab.grey and Twitter at sabgdrey. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out Ovira. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.